Shalom. All honor, praise, and glory be to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, Wahaku Dashwaka. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at the great millstone who were well. <clears throat> Peace and blessings to the brothers teaching the truth across the four corners of the earth where we have been scattered to. And to the rest of you believers out there, men, women, children, friends of the prophets, newly awakening, turning back to the Father, back to your, your heritage. Those of you of the Israelite nation, which consisted of so-called blacks, Hispanics, so-called Negroes, African-Americans, Black Lives Matter, Latinos, Latinas, West Indians, and Native American Indians, to you I say peace and blessings as well. Shalom. Wa barakim. All right. So this is just something that I just want to go over, something I've been meditating on, I think, for the past couple of days now. Go ahead and bring it up by spirit. And it's letting the wicked fall into their own, you know, pit which they have dug. Um, and that's simply everything the so-called white man does, right? Because he's the wicked. Everything he does is pretty much counterproductive. You know, it's, it's, it's only to his demise. Um, and, uh, and, and, and it's, it's, it's ultimately all in pursuit of his rulership, his reign, his so-called supremacy coming to an end, right? Him going into slavery. And the number and he's gonna he's gonna bring this about, right? And a slew of his 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 ways and his devices and his plans, his mischief, and and and, and uh, the number one way will be you know, the nuclear missiles before we get into that, you know, and, and he's setting all these things in, in, in play, you know, so, um, like, for example, it's certain laws, so the so-called white man, right, it's his world, he could do what he wants, right, he could devise what he want, right? Let's get that word devise real quick. I'm gonna get it in the American Heritage Dictionary. To plan, to plan, or arrange in the mind, design or contrive. Yeah, so devise is to plan or arrange in the mind. So everything, all these plans and different arrangements that the so-called white man wants to make is all in pursuit of what he wants right he he wants what he wants and that's it design or contrive so everything is by design right it's devised by this so-called white man right let's get another one let's get device it says something designed designed for a particular purpose and when you're going to see it's funny because you got Sign meaning let's get it, let's get that word sign real quick. You got sign meaning the so called white man, he, he's put his signature to it, signature to it, you know, he's held responsible to it. Something that suggests the existence of a fact, condition, or quality, an act or gesture. That is used to convey an idea, a posted notice bearing a designation, direction, or command. So that's a law, you see? So it's something that when they when they devise different orders they want to go out, how they want things to play out, be arranged, that's a command, and then they sign off on it. You see? So it's funny that you got the word design. In the meaning of device. So going back to the device, it says something designed, designed for a particular purpose. Now, when you break that word up, you got D. And then D is pretty much to take away. Because, like, for example, you got a sin, right? Ascend. When you ascend, uh, you go up, right? You're adding to... Uh, 
the altitude, you see what I'm saying, that you probably were once at when you ascend, right? And then when you descend, you come down, you take away from it. You see what I'm saying? So going back into it, the vice, the word design, designed, designed, right, is, is, is a part of device. So something designed for a particular purpose. So it's almost proves is is pretty much proving my point of what I initially said. Everything that the so-called white man is doing is 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 only to take away, right? It's only to take away from what he's actually trying to do. It's counterproductive. Everything that he signs off on, you see what I'm saying? Is 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 to no avail. You see what I'm saying? And, and he he's pretty commanding the end of himself because he's self-destructive. Something designed for a particular purpose, a machine, literary contrivance used to achieve a particular effect. And that ultimate effect in which I want to get is um, <clears throat> how pretty much all the efforts he's put in on these so-called uh, these nu these nuclear warheads and you know ICBM missiles is 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 to effect his stance in the earth his status and that's going from um, a wrote in hero uh, to a verified and revealed zero you see what I'm saying and then it's funny because underneath the word device, you got devil. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into this. Let's get in some of the things that the so-called white man has devised and some of his de devices, which is something designed, designed to uh, achieve a particular, you see what I'm saying, uh, purpose or effect. And then once again, you got devised, which is something that range or put in order. You see what I'm saying? So here you have a law from the state of South Carolina, right? And this is on South Carolina State House.gov, and it's in there. They pretty much have right here that missiles are illegal. You see what I'm saying? And this is by the so-called white man. Sections 23303310, missile defined. So they're gonna define missiles. Okay, so title. 23 law enforcement and public safety all right so missile defined what is a missile it says a missile according to the so-called white man right according to his command his order what he wants what he signed off on you see what i'm saying it says a missile as a as contemplated by this chapter shall be defined as an object or a substance hurled through the air by the use of gunpowder or any other explosive substance, whether purchased by the individual or comp compounded by chemicals. Okay, and it tell you right here, permit required for a firing missile. So the so-called white man is the devil, man. He everything he's doing, uh, he signs off on, he arranges, is 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 a slew of ways to bring destruction and chaos and madness and ultimately his end it says before any person shall fire you see before any person shall fire or attempt to fire or discharge any missile within the borders of this state he shall first procure right because pro uh meaning to be for just like con is against and then cure is pretty much to um complete something you see a finish 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 something off you see what i'm saying the cure it says so procure a written permit um a complete uh permit right a written permit there it is from the aeronautics divisions of the department of commerce on such form as it may be prescribed as it may prescribe Salakia. you see what i'm saying so they simply saying you can have a missile right if you're a so-called white man or whoever it may be right you can missiles are illegal according to the so-called white man because that's what he's gonna do 
You see what I'm saying? Now, that's pretty much simple because I don't even want to make this deeper than what what it, what it needs to be. Now, moving on. So we now know, according to the so-called white man, it's um, it's illegal to fire a missile within the state of <laughs> uh, South Carolina, man. All right. So real quick, we'll go ahead and get into these scriptures. Uh, before we go into the lesson, real quick, I want to get this. Psalms 94 and 20. Shout a throne of iniquity. You see, it's because the so-called white man is in his power. You see what I'm saying? So remember that he's in his power. He's in his supremacy. He's in his reign, right? He has ascended. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let me go ahead and grab that. This is Isaiah 14. I'm going to start at 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of, 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 of the morning? How art thou um, cut down to the ground? Which we're going to come back to this part. This is not the point. Which did weakest the nation. So this is talking about so-called white man. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend. You see? I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. You see, I will ascend above the height of the clouds, of the height of the clouds. I will be like the most high. You see what I'm saying? It says, yet thou shalt be brought down. You see, so the so-called white man has ascended. You see what I'm saying? So it's funny that when you go into the scriptures, you're going to see, you're going, when you get these scriptures, you're going to see words like device and device and all those words. Uh, device went into uh, pretty much something signed off on. Matter of fact, let me gra grab it again real quick because I don't want to butcher it. Device, something desi designed for a particular purpose. You see, a machine. You see that? So the so-called white man, he, devise, he, dev he has devices, which is something des designed, right? Things he has signed off on only to bring him down. Things he has put in order, only to bring him down. How would he be brought down? Because we just read how the, how the so-called white man, uh, he has ascended, right? He has efforts to ascend, right? And be, and exalt his throne, because there go that word throne above the stars of God. And then you got div device, div devise, which means to plan or arrange in the mind. You see, designed or contrived. You see what I'm saying? So when you divide something, it's to plan or arrange in the mind. So this is when they sit down there at the drawing boards, as you, as you see in this image. It says design, right? Only in efforts. Um, and they, and they pretty much when you all in, you put your money where your mouth is, man. So they put, they invest in these different companies and these bases and they all come together and they sign off of it with their signatures, man. All these people come together these Edomites, and then they get people from other nationalities as well to come together all in effort to help the so-called white man achieve his what he's devised, um, which is his plan uh, arranged in his mind, right? Which is to ascend, you see what I'm saying? Which is to reign, right? But we reading how he's going to do all these things but it's only gonna be in it's only gonna um, end in him coming down. So everything that this man would do will obviously be in pursuit, right? And bringing that man, it would be a a a, a, ch a chain. It's basically a formula. Everything he puts together is a, a formula that equals or e a equation that equals. His fall, his descend, his decline, right? All from his designs. You see that? It says, this is Isaiah 14 and 13. For thou hast said in thine heart. You see? Remember, devise means to arrange something in your mind, man. Plan something in your mind. What is the Hebrew word for heart again? Right? It's lob, meaning mind. He said, 
For thou hast said, meaning so-called white man has said in thine heart, I will ascend, meaning mine, I will ascend into heaven, you see, in the sky. I will exalt my, my throne above the stars of God, you see, the most high. I will sit also upon the mount of the, of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Now, remember that word, all right? So, Psalms 94 and 20, shall the throne of iniquity, you see, have fellowship with thee, which frame its mischief by a law? You see what I'm saying? So, mischief, let's get that word mischief real quick. See, toil or trouble, labor, you see? It says, whether of body or mind, grievance. Wearing effort, miserable, travail, toil, pain. So, pretty much the so-called white man, according to what we just read, he he puts he sets up pain by putting together different laws, which we just read. You see, so because if you sign off on people being able to. Uh, fire missiles in the state of your within a place that's right your own headquarters of for your supremacy which is known as America South, South Carolina being a so called America state right that is one it's an act of treason and two as suicide you see what I'm saying because missiles in which we hear about are nuclear. That's devastating, right? And it spreads. And it makes the place inhabitable. So this ban is, is, is counterproductive with everything that he's devising to do. All his plans. So this dude is a self-destructive creature. You see what I'm saying? Now, we're going to go ahead and get to the point. It says, shall the throne of iniquity. You see, go to that throne. He said he's going to make his throne above the most high. Have fellowship with thee, which frame is mischief by a law. And that law is what we just read, right, according to the state of South Carolina. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to jump down to uh, 21. They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and, and condemn the innocent blood. You see, because the so-called white man, he has uh, 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 pretty much, this is all, you know what? This is all an effort as well to bring down Jacob, even pretty much try to er eradicate Jacob to where he think he can escape and come out clean. But that's not, he can hide from the destruction that he's going to bring. And that's these missiles, man. You see what I'm saying? So, there's so many ways you can go into this, you know, but we're gonna, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as, as possible. So, going, go, getting started now, Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account in the, in thereof in the day of judgment. You see, for by thy words thou shalt be... Justify and by thy thou and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So the so-called white man, he has pretty much marked himself with saying that missiles are, are are okay with this being his word. You see what I'm saying? His world, Salakia. So you know what? That's logical. That this place is marked to be destroyed by missiles. Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived, the most high is not mocked, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushah is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You see what I'm saying? So the so-called white man, he has sold that is okay for people to uh, fire missiles. <laughs> it's crazy. So it's only going to result in, in, in people firing missiles upon him. Because this is this is this is this is it. This is your uh uh your land. This land is my land. You see what I'm saying? That whole song. 
You know what? Let me go ahead and grab this. This is this is Psalms 94 and 23. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yeah, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Jumping up to 22, but the Lord is my defense and, and my and my power. He is and my power is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. You see what I'm saying? And shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yeah, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, our power shall cut them off. Now, let's go ahead and grab this real quick. This is Isaiah 9, uh, 14, and I'm going to start at verse 4, 4. It says, That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? You see what I'm saying? How? Because the so-called white man is signed off on missiles, man. He said it's okay to shoot missiles on America, man. In America. Because where would where the missile land at? On America. So for every idle word man shall speak, he shall give a, he shall give account of in the day of judgment. Real quick. This is Jeremiah 17 and 10. It says, I, the Lord... You know, I'm going to start at nine. It says, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? See, the so-called white man has no clue what he's doing because he leaned upon his own mind, man. You see what I'm saying? All his designs is only to bring him down. You see what I'm saying? It says, um, I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, searched the heart. You see, he searched the heart. I tried the reins even to give to every man according to his ways. And according to the fruit of his doings, you see, so the so-called white man is going to give account. Uh, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So once it's, this, it's time to this, uh, uh, bring forth what shall be done to you, what shall be the reward, you see what I'm saying, that you, you every man shall receive, every nation shall receive, the so-called white man is going to get a nuclear bomb ultimately. Ultimately, you see what I'm saying? Because the Lord is going to give you the fruit of your ways because the Most High is not mocked, man. Whatsoever a man shall, you know, you want to come up with your own laws, your own commandments, well, you're going to be judged by them. You see what I'm saying? Because in the, in the same breath, you also want to pick up the, Lord, the Lord's word, man. See, the Lord, he got a sense of humor. You see that? So he gonna give according to every, he gonna give a, he gonna give every man according to his ways, you see what I'm saying? According to the fruit of his doings. So it's the work you put in. They're working so hard to bring these missiles, you see what I'm saying? Together, and, and it's only to 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 get you bombed. You see what I'm saying? So you can't make you can't make this up, man. The so-called white man is 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 everything he's doing. Is only going to bring him down. This is Isaiah 54 and 16. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the, in the fire. The Lord set that up, man. You see what I'm saying? He set you up to do that, to destroy yourself and bring our kingdom. Put Bring the end of your world and the beginning of ours, man. You see what I'm saying? Jacob is being productive. You're being counterproductive. You see? That's why you sold your birthright. You're supposed to be adding yourself. You're taking away from yourself. You see what I'm saying? So it says, Behold, I have created the smith that blow up the coals and the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. You see what I'm saying? No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. So it's talking about us. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So everything the so-called white man is doing is only to help us and in him. And the reality of the matter, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this and I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up because it's pretty simple, man. So that's how Babylon and the oppressor will have ceased because they're going to get bombed, man. You see what I'm saying? Let me grab that real quick. This is a, this is Jeremiah 50, 51. And I'm going to start at 
I'm gonna start at one. Thus saith the Lord: Behold, I will rise up against a uh, up against a ba Babylon, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me. You see a destroying wind, and that's that wind you see, man. You see what I'm saying? The so the Lord is about to wipe the so-called white man out, man, because he said he was gonna ascend above the Most High, His throne. You see what I'm saying? Not only white supremacy, but He's gonna be God. You see what I'm saying? It says, and I will send unto Babylon famine, fanners that shall fan her, you see, and shall empty her land for in the day. So that's those missiles, man, because that's what you about. You said you about missiles. You signed the law off on, on saying missiles are OK. It says, for in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about, you see, and against him that bend it, let the archer bend his bow and against him that lift it himself up in his burgundy and spare ye not her young men destroy ye utterly all her hosts so that's all these so-called americans you see it says the slain shall fall in the land of child d and they that are thrust through and 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 they that are thrust through in her streets for israel have not been forsaken nor judah of his god his power for the lord yahweh though their land was filled with sin against the holy one of israel you see? So that's that, man. So the Lord is 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 about to uh destroy he's about to destroy he's using he's setting the so-called white man up to 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 only bring uh design his his design his own fall, his own end. This is verse 37. I'm gonna start at 36. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh Basham Shah, behold, I will plead thy cause. And take vengeance for thee, I, and I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry through these missiles that the so-called white man likes building. You see, this is what he want to get get into. So this is what he's sowing. So this is what he's gonna reap. If I want if I want uh, if I want grapes, I'm gonna plant grape seeds. You see, you want nuke, so you planting nuke nuke seeds. That's what you're gonna get, man. You see, so that's that, man. That's that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, man. This is uh, Psalms 141, because I believe the point is proven. This is Psalms 141 and 10, and it reads, Let the wicked fall into their own nets, while it's that I, with all, es escape. So we're going to escape, man. Let me grab that real quick. When this place is getting bombed, and it was all an effort for the so-called white man to try to shoot at us, you see what I'm saying? Is 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 it was only to backfire. You see? This is Revelation eleven, and I'm gonna start at eleven. And after three days and a half, the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah entered into them. So that was when he this is talking about when the awakening, the Hebrew Israelite awakening took place, which you see now, and it's been taking place for years now. And they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. All these damn so-called white people, they, they 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 have nightmares about what we're doing. It says, and what all we do is read the Bible. You see? It says, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. You see? Why are we going to come up hither? This is when we get beamed up. Why? Because nuclear, nuclear missiles are about to hit the ground which you walk on. You see what I'm saying? So if you turn back to the Lord... He's going to take you up off that ground before, you know, you're down here with it. So, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven. That same heaven, the so-called white man said he was going to ascend to. And they ascended up to heaven. And a cloud, in a cloud, that's that chariot, that so-called uh, mothership, that fathership, man. And their enemies beheld them. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to be saved. But the scriptures tell you how to, uh, the wicked, they secretly try to shoot at the, you know, uh, uh, the righteous. You see what I'm saying? Let me get, so let me go ahead and get that, man. This is uh, Psalms 14, 141 and 9. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me. They want you to get nuked, but it's going to backfire on them. And the gens of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while it's that I withal 
escape, escape. See that? <laughs> We're gonna escape and he gonna get bombed. And the ones that don't, they are gonna go into those bunkers only to go into slavery. Now real quick, when you go into this word um, fall, right? It's Nepal and it says to fall, a violent death. You see that? Attack, desert. Didn't the Lord say he gonna make Babylon a desert? You see what I'm saying? He's gonna make a he's gonna make Babylon a desert. So they're gonna fall by the, everything they have set set up and planned and designed. You see what I'm saying? Because they're only to bring them down. Jeremiah 51 and 36. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, behold, I will plead thy cause. You see what I'm saying? And take vengeance for thee. I will dry, I will dry up her sea and make her spring, her springs dry. They say, and Babylon shall become a become heaps, a dwelling place for dragons and astonishment and hissing and in hissing without an inhabitant. You see what I'm saying? So the Lord about to dry this place up. So when you go into that word fall, you see what I'm saying? When you go into that word fall, it says a violent death to fall upon, attack, desert. You see what I'm saying? That's a desert. Fall away. Go away. The so-called white man is about to go away. Look, to settle, waste away, be offered, be inferior. You see what I'm saying? Be inferior to, because why? The ones that don't go away, I'm going to grab that real quick. I'm going to close out with my last scripture. This is uh, Amos 9 and 8, and I'm going to start at verse Amos 9 and 2. It says, no, I'm going to start at 1. I saw the Lord standing on upon the altar. And he said, "Smite the lintel, the lintel of the door, door, door that they may, that the post may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them. And I will slay the last of them with the sword." You see what I'm saying? He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, those those bunkers, then shall my hand take them. You see what I'm saying? We're going to take them out the bunker. So that's how they're going to be offered up. You see what I'm saying? Though they climb up to heaven. See, there it goes. Thence will I bring them down. You see what I'm saying? And though they hide themselves in the top of, of Carmel, of Carmel, I will search them. I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the seas, because the so-called white man got the navy. The submarines, they got other outer underwater homes you can look you can look into, man. It says, and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. You see what I'm saying? And though they go into captivity before their enemies, thence will I command the sword, and it shall slay them. And I will set my eyes upon them for evil and not for good. See what I'm saying? This is a uh, verse eight. It says, behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. That's America. You see kingdom. What is in a kingdom? A throne. That same one that was said to sin upon God's so-called white man. So everything he putting together is only to bring his end, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord, because that is all in efforts, right? as well as to try to take us down, but it's going to backfire. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel um, among all nations. He's going to sift us out. You see what I'm saying? Get the clumps out. Right? Only what he wants. It says, like as corn is sifted in the sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So it don't matter. If you turn back to the Lord, you know what I'm saying, in spirit and truth, it don't matter if you're the top man, woman, child, you gonna, no one's going to fall upon the earth. You're going to be beamed up. All the sinners of my people shall die, but the sword will say the evil shall not overtake us. 
nor pre- overtake nor prevent us. Now, this is verse 12, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen which are called by my name, save the Lord Yahweh Yahusha. So that's it, man. The Lord is 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 gonna uh, uh, take us, and He's He's gonna build us up. It tells you this in the first, uh, the fourteenth verse. It tells you this uh, in the eleventh verse. And who's gonna build build up build up those that will be offered up, those that are left that try to escape. You see what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it, man. This is Psalms one forty one and ten. Let the wicked fall into their own nets. <laughs> While is while is that I would thought escape, and this is Psalms 140 and 10. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, in, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. See that? Let not an evil speaker be established. In the earth, evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. You see that? I know that the Lord Yahweh shall maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. You see, surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. And this is my last scripture. This is Job 5 and 13. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And the counsel of the Ford is carried headlong. You see what I'm saying? So that's it, man. Right? Verse 15. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, from the hand of the mighty. So that's beautiful, man. So everything that the so-called white man is doing, he's trying to plot against us, is only in efforts to bring himself down and to bring us up. And it put him in position to be given to us. So, Lord willing, this has been edifying, and America will be destroyed. He set it up for it to be nuclear bombed, right? And for them to go into slavery and captivity. But all their actions, all their plans, everything they arranged, their mischief, all of it, man. So, Lord willing, this has been edifying. I'm going to say, Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Shah.